Hey guys, this will be a quick guide for the Rosaic Hopper, so if you'd like to see how to collect it, then please keep on watching. Normally when you come to this spot, which is right here on the map, there's a rather large looking possessive frog standing guard outside. To get past the possessive horn swog that guards this cave, you have to collect three items around the zone to make a delectable treat. For the first item, I'm at the Life Vault Ruins in the Waking Shores, which is right here on the map. Standing by the Flight Master. So, assuming you don't have Dragon Riding yet, you can just hoof it up the cliff by following this path here. and then come down in this direction. We'll need a goblin glider, so if you're an engineer, you'll likely have it attached to your cloak already, like I do, or use one of those one-use goblin glider kits. So you're aiming for the top of the building. Go. Now that's what you're after, that well preserved bone just over there. For the second item, head to Dragon Scale Base Camp. Head on down this path to this tub and pick up. Lost soap bar. From here you'll need one more item. It's not too far so I just hoofed it on my new dragon friend that I picked up the next day. So at Dragon Scale Base Camp, head towards the tent behind Doc Nana's over here. Amongst these crates, you'll see Armoni's prize. Once I have those three items, I'm going to head back to the Ruby Life Shrine. And then that's the possessive horn swag just over there. Now, I should be able to just combine these three items now. Go. Throw the treat at the horn swag. Nice. So there you go. I hope that helped. As usual, thanks for watching and I'll see you for the next video.